Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Went a bit wild today. It's Tuesday the 20th of December, so it's five days to Christmas. And I don't expect I'll be getting out to do much more charity shop shopping over the next few days. So today we did two different towns. Went to Clevedon and we went to Nailsey. That's 19 charity shops in one day and I bought six separate items or six separate lots. Uh, we'll start with the golf balls first because they're for a specific purpose. I bought them in Nailsy, Changing Lives, 10 pence each and I bought them because I want to cut them open and see what's inside them. Now I think I'm wasting my time because modern golf balls are completely different to the golf balls I remember and they're solid so I think if I cut them open I won't find anything useful in them. The old golf balls which is what I was looking for are actually a solid core with strips of rubber wrapped around them like rubber bands wrapped around very tightly to build up the ball and that's what I actually want. I want some of that rubber. But I'm pretty sure all of these will be the solid ones because they're all relatively new. They're a bit dirty because these are ones that somebody's been and collected on golf courses and that where people have lost them and then given them to the charity shop to sell on. But I made sure every one is a different make just to give me the maximum chance of finding an older one in there. But I'm pretty sure that they'll all be the modern solid core ones. So that was 10 for a pound. Next thing we might as well cover off this little chap. This is the second one of these I've bought. Uh, it's not working so I'm going to have to change the batteries in it. But this is for the flexi track. As it's called. It's a plastic track. This just runs forwards all the time and you build the track up to do whatever you want. Uh, I bought one in a charity shop not long ago, a couple of weeks ago possibly, and one of my viewers identified it as being from the flexi track. And when I saw this one I thought, well, I must have another one. You never know, I might actually find some flexi track at some time. And I was quite pleased with that one. That was 20 pence. That cost me also in Changing Lives, but that was Changing Lives in Clevedon, whereas the other one was Changing Lives in Nailsy. Next, a Rubik's Clock. Now, in one of my charity shop shorts, I show you one of the shops that's got one of these for sale. They haven't sold it yet, it's been there for months, and they're trying to sell it for about £2.50. I saw this in a different shop, Age UK, for 99 pence, in the box. The one in the other shop is just loose on the shelf. I did open it up and I thought, oh dear, it's missing, there's nothing in there. But it is in there, it's just stored the wrong way up. So, I don't know if I'll actually do a video using this for all the, all the clocks or pointers are all joined together by a gearing system and depending on which way you push these levers depend on which le which can we actually turn them which of them actually turn there we go so they're turning like that and then if I ch change the gearing then different ones turn. So the idea, I assume, is to get them all pointing the same way or something like that. By adjusting the gearing or the connections until you get it right. There's no instructions in there. I think 99 pence compared to two pounds something for one without the box, and that one's a bargain. 
Right, next. Let's do the boat. This one looks beautiful, doesn't it? Initially, I was going to do one of my charity shop shorts where I show you something that caught my eye but I didn't buy because this was actually £4.99 and I wasn't going to buy it because I thought, well, if that's just a boat, then I'm going to have to modify it if I want it to work and all the rest of it. And then I was looking at all the detail. Everything seems to be there. I think something's missing off the top. But other than that, it all seems to be there. I turned it over and I thought, that looks like that's got motors. And then I realised it's got a battery pack here. I haven't looked inside yet. There's an on-off button there. I've no idea if it's radio controlled or whether it just goes forwards. There's no steering on it as such. So I would have thought these would be independently controlled. So we've got um, thrust steering. That one spins okay, that one's stiff and there's a bit of rust around it. So it may need, mean that we've got to take it apart and try and replace that motor, possibly. But until I take the cover off, I've no idea what's inside whether it is just a motorised one or whether it's radio controlled in any way. There's no aerial sticking out of it as such. I mean, it's got these plastic ones, but they're not real aerials. So, don't know if it's radio controlled or just, um, just motorised. I don't know if I saw a manufacturer on it anywhere. Well, there's something written there that I can't see without my glasses. So, obviously that's going to be another video, separate video at some time. And then the next two things, I did say 4 99 didn't I? Uh, St Peter's Hospice, that was in Clevedon. No, that can't be right. That's the wrong one. That one, St Peter's Hospice in Nailsey, £4.99 that was. Okay, we've got two things left. Uh, I don't want to show you the thing on the bottom until I've shown you the this one first. Another kite. I just can't resist buying kites, especially being as somebody's complained... Well, not complained as in angry, just complained in fun about the kites that I buy and how cheap they are. 50 pence this one. It's only a child's kite. Easy to fly octopus. Uh, in which charity shop that was in? Mines Matter. Clevedon, that one. Okay. Kite, now the final thing. Radio controlled. RC Sopworth Camel. Now, £4.99, that was the other St Peter's Hospice receipt. I can see, looking through here, that whoever packed it up left the receiver loose. That's been rack rocking around in the box and it's broken the tail on the plane. So we'll see if we can get it out and have a look. But it's going to have to have some repair work done before we can try it out. So there we go, receiver's loose in there, and that's broken the tail. Probably needs a bit of glue to pull it back up again. Well, that does look, yeah, that looks a bit sorry there. But we might be all right. All I had to do was put that on there with a bit of tape. Aerial's missing. Got the instructions. It's 27 megahertz. I've no idea what the range is like. Got a spare propeller and a spare rudder. Silver lit. 27 megahertz. No idea whether anything's going to work. I wouldn't expect it to. Let's be honest.
Oh, okay. So we'll work out how we charge it up. It looks like it's got a little socket there. See if we can straighten up the rudder and see if it works. Looks a little bit beaten, but that's not surprising, is it? £4.99. No idea when we'll get to try it. It's been raining today and the weather's expected to get worse before Christmas. No snow, just rain. And that's it. That's a very long charity shop golden or garbage because we've got lots of things to go through and most of those will be separate videos.